guys and welcome back to part 4 of building Twitter using UIKit and Google's Firebase. So in the last part we added the action buttons to our tweet table view cell. In this part we're going to be taking that a step further. We're going to be adding the Twitter logo for our navigation bar as well as the button that takes us directly to our profile. And also we're going to be making some refactoring regarding the icons that we chose for the action buttons. So without further ado let's just dive in and open up Xcode. So let's pick up from where we left off in the last part. So I'm here in my home view controller. Let's just create a new function. So basically, I'm just going to create a private func and I'm going to call that configure navigation bar. All right. So basically, what we want to do is actually add the logo for the navigation bar of Twitter. So basically, let's just open Safari. And over here, I just searched Google for Twitter logo PNG so that I make sure that the uh, the image that I'm going to download is just going to have a transparent background. So um, let me choose something like this. And uh, whenever you see this tiles behind your image, you kind of get the sense that this image has a transparent background. So I'm just going to download this. So save to download. And over here, I have the image over there. So let me just go back to my Xcode assets folder and I'm just going to drag and drop this image and as you can see here the image has been added successfully to Xcode and as you can see here it doesn't have a background so let me just give that image a name so Twitter logo All right using the camel case and now let's just head back to the home view controller so right now I just want to make an image view so that it can hold this image so let me just type let logo image view and that is going to be a UI image view. Let me configure this a little bit more. So content mode, and that is going to be to scale aspect fit. And over here, we just need to initialize that with a frame. So let me just type CG rect, and that is going to have an X to equal to zero, Y to zero. And uh, over here, let me just initialize a new um, variable. Let me just call that size. And let me just give that maybe a size of 36. And we also want to give that a type specifically is going to be a CG float, right? So let me just pass this size over here and over there for the height as well. So now the next thing that we need to do is actually add this image to the image view. So let me just type logo image view dot image. And now we're going to make this by adding the UI image name and we're going to pass the image that we have specified for the logo in the assets folder over here. So let me just copy that, right? And let me just go back in here and add that to the named or the parameter for the UI image. So right now we have the UI image and it has the image inside of it. So right now we just need to wrap our UI image inside a UI view so that we can assign that view to the title view of the navigation bar. So let me just do that as well. So let middle view and that is going to be a UI view. And over here, let me just add this. So middle view dot add sub view. And we're going to pass in the logo image view as a sub view for the UI view. So let me just do that. So logo image view. And over here, we just need to assign that to our navigation bar. It's just that easy. So let me just do that. So navigation item dot title view. And let me just assign that to the middle view over here. All right, so now we just need to add two more things. The first thing is we just need to add a frame for our UI view that holds our UI image. So let me just do that. So CG rect, and that is going to be uh, of X equals to zero, Y zero, and we're gonna pass the same size over and over here. And last but not least, we just need to call that function over here inside our view that loads. So configure navigation bar. Let me just hit build and run, and let me see what do we get so far. All right, so as you can see here, we have added successfully the Twitter logo. Now let's add the button that takes us directly to the profile view controller. All right, so let's just go back to the configure navigation bar and let me just add a new image over here. So let profile image and that is going to be UI image. Let's just use the system name for person right now until we connect the Firebase account and we can just pull our avatar from there. But for the moment, this profile image should do the work. All right, so now let's just type navigation item dot left bar button item. And let me just say you are bar button item. And we can just initialize that with our image over here. So let me just pass the profile image. 
and for the style i'm going to be choosing plain which is basically the normal or the default status or behavior for a button and for the self we're going to be connecting this button to this view controller and for the selector we're just going to add a method that says did tap profile so let me just add this method over here and this method should be able to interact with the objective c runtime so let me just mark up that by objective c private func and we can just copy the name of that so did tap profile let me just say something like pressed profile and i believe this is going to be it so let me just hit build and run and let me verify that everything is connected and working okay so as you can see here basically we have the button that we have specified for our uh, profile and whenever we tap on that button as you can see here um yeah we have the pressed profile over there so now let's just add a new controller to our project so let me just go up in here in controllers and i'm just going to create a new folder i'm going to call that general and inside of that folder i'm just going to create a new view controller so let me just say coco touch class and we're going to be creating a view controller let me just call that profile view controller right so let me just place that inside my general folder let me just delete all of these comments we're not going to be needing any of those so let me just say that the view background of this is going to be system background color and over here we can just specify that the navigation item title is going to be profile so let's just go back to the home view controller and instead of this print line i'm just going to say let vc is going to be profile view controller and over there we're just going to add this to our stack so navigation controller push view controller and we're just going to pass the view controller that we have initialized as a profile view controller and for the animation i'm just going to set that to true let me just hit build and run and i believe this is it so let me just tap on my profile over there and as you can see here we're taking directly to the profile view controller which we are going to be designing in the next episode so now let's go to the fun part we just need to um, change the buttons that we have over here um, as the action buttons because I don't think they look the same as Twitter. And for that matter, I decided that we want to take the actual buttons design that Twitter has. All right, so let's just do that. So right now we just need to open Chrome if you don't have that installed. So basically we can inspect those icons from Twitter itself. So let me just open Chrome. As you can see here, we can just go to Twitter. All right, so as you can see here, basically I have Twitter opened in my Chrome browser and we can just right click anywhere on our page and then we can just choose inspect over there. So basically we can just click on the inspect button over there. So um, yeah, basically we can just click on the reply button over there. And as you can see here, basically we can see the SVG code or basically path for this icon so basically we can just right click on that edit it as html and we're just going to copy all of that i've just made that by command a so that i can select all of the text over here so right now all we need to do is just type in the google search svg to file right and as you can see here basically the first result is svg minifier and all you just need to do is just paste that path over here and hit start um, the website is going to process that and you, and then you can just click download result SVG and as you can see here you can just open the downloads folder and as you can see here basically you have the result SVG so I'm just going to open up Xcode again in my assets folder and I'm just going to grab this over here and as you can see here basically the button that we wanted to add from the beginning is right here and ready to be used we can just change the name we can just reply icon and basically we're gonna have to do the same thing over and over for each button so i'm just going to fast forward that all right so as you can see here basically i've done the same steps over and over for the other action buttons that I, that I want so as you can see here i got my share icon i named that share icon retweet icon reply icon and heart icon so basically let's just use that inside of our project and let me just see how that look inside of the simulator that we have so let me just go back to the 
tweet table view cell and over here we just going to go over there so ui image so basically instead of a system name i believe that one was used for the uh for the share button so named and i'm just going to pass in the share icon and i'm just going to do that with the heart as well so i believe it was called heart icon so i'm just going to add this and instead of system name it's going to be named um, basically this is going to be for the retweet so retweet icon and instead of system name it's going to be named and over here it's going to be the reply icon so let me just do that so reply icon and over there i'm just going to say named let me just hit build and run and let me see how that look inside of my simulator all right so as you can see here basically we have changed how the buttons appear and i believe this looks so much close or basically this is exact same buttons that twitter actually use on the actual web app so as you can see here they are working as normal uh, everything looks great so um, yeah so basically that's it for this tutorial in the next part we're gonna be working with the profile view controller so if you're interested please stay tuned because I'm gonna drop that really soon so again thanks for watching and peace out